Okay, uh, I got a student, he wants to uh, solo, and uh, I like to stress that uh, you have to know the chord tones. And the chord tones are the notes inside the chord you're playing over. So in theory, if you start on a chord tone and you end on a chord tone, you won't make any mistakes. Everything in the middle is a passing tone. That's what makes th things so cool. And we've got bends. So what I did there, I was playing over a G, D, E minor, a very common 1, 5, 6, 4 progression, and uh, Green Day. And what's that other one, uh, Chillin'? So it's very common, one, five, six, four. So uh, getting back to the chord tone, and if you play guitar, you gotta bend strings. I don't care if you're playing blues, rock, or uh, country, doesn't matter. You know, uh, you're gonna play, you're gonna use bends. They're cool. That's why I play guitar, I like to bend strings. So anyway, on the G, uh, a G chord, G, B and D, I'm going to bend up from this A note right here on the 10th fret of the B string, and I'm going to bend up to a B. Now it's a chord tone, it's G. I'm playing over the G chord. And then it goes to a D, alright? So there's a bend, I'm going to do a 6. The 6th of, uh, of D is B, and it's a sweet note. You've heard that before. And I, I, I release down to the A, and the A is the fifth of the D. Okay, it's one of the notes in the D chord. And then for the E minor, I just I go right back up to the B. And B is the uh, fifth of E minor, so it's E, G, B. And then for the C, well, I'm I'm trying to stay with one note here to to show you can bend into. To uh, chord tones and uh, get a solo. All right, I'm not saying do it all the time, but you know there are times when you can do it. Not everything is note salad. That's what I'm trying to get across here. So I'm going to bend up. I go back to the E minor, and then here comes the C. Back to the B on the G chord. Uh, you know, if you're taking lessons, you know, ask ask your instructor if he's if he's uh, you know if he hasn't already done that to give you a basic theory, you know, on how chords are constructed one three five and then how progressions are based off the same thing, you know, the first, the fifth, or the sixth. Okay, and that'll help you with the soloing. But there's nothing. No one can show you. I mean, they can show you all the notes. On the on the fretboard, but in reality, the only person that can do that is you. Sorry, but you got to sit there and just play and memorize it. So I'll play this one more time, and then I'll take it up. Over the E minor, here comes the C. chord and that's the B note. My D chord, that's the A. E minor. Back to the C.